Hello guys on the prize, how is it going? Welcome back to a new video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about or I'm doing an isekai protagonist tier list dare I say the ultimate isekai anime tier list of 2021 Yes, we're doing the ultimate thing again because that's such a creative title, isn't it? So yeah, let's have some fun, shall we? So anyways, um, let's just start off with Shield Hero. Again, you guys know how much I love Shield Hero. It's definitely in the S tier category, no questions asked <laughs> it's in the s tier uh i fucking love this fucking anime show here it was the very first isekai i gushed about and i have, I have a really popular video on this channel with the shield hero manga so i do like this show a lot i've have the light novel i watched the anime a lot i read the manga and dude i i've <laughs> everything you probably could could get of Shield Hero I probably have. Besides the merch, which I'm working on. <laughs> I'm working on getting the merch. But yo, Shield Hero is just an, a great show, and I had to put that in S tier. Next we have is The Devil is a Part-Timer. Okay, this one is a decent show. I'm glad it's getting a season two. Finally, it's too, too long it has been with The Devil is a Part-Timer anime, and we getting more now. Again, this, this anime was never one I would actively search out for, but when I heard about it and when I saw it on Netflix or whatever, or when it was on Netflix, is it still on Netflix? I don't even remember anymore, to be honest, guys. I like Devil's a Part-Timer, and you know what? I think it's an A-tier show. It cracks me up a lot, and it's just a really good show. I recommend it to anybody who wants to get an isekai. Again, it's kind of like an, it's a reverse isekai, so it's not exactly... The traditional isekai route, but it's still considered isekai. At least according to Crunchyroll when I looked it up on their site because I searched up isekai anime and this popped up, so. <laughs> now we have Death March. This is a very mid, mid series. Um, I, I watched it all. I, I watched it all, but I have nothing to say about it though. I made a one video on this show, I think, and I want to make a final video on it, but I couldn't think of anything to say. Cause it's just, it's just mid. <laughs> it's not the best show in the world. It's isekai trash and what else can I say about it? You know, it, it, you got a harem, you got some lollies, which, which is, it's all right, I guess. You got, got lollies like, okay. And this man suddenly goes to sleep, probably dies in his sleep or something. He gets transported to a game world, but whatever is isekai, you know, it's, it's good. If you want to, Actually, I wouldn't recommend Death March. <laughs> Honestly, though, if you're an decent guy, then you might like it. But if you're not, if you're just getting a decent anime, then I don't recommend Death March because Death March is definitely not for the casual isekai fan. And now we have the villainess anime, and I didn't expect to like this. And I'm now I'm in between. I kind of I want to put it in a high B tier, but I also want to put it in A tier because it was a very fun show with a. Uh, I don't even remember the name. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the names anymore. But the main character was was great. She was fun, and it was it was a fun story seeing her being oblivious to everybody around her, and with like her her best friends kind of little subplot or being part of the main thing all of a sudden. And honestly, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to put this one. It was a very enjoyable show. I didn't expect to like it. It really. It really just was surprising that I enjoyed this show. I one late day, late at night, I was like, you know what? Let's let's watch it. <laughs> Everyone's talking about this easy guy, so why not just give it a shot? And I did, and it was great. So it gets A tier. Sure, sure, it gets A tier. I'm leaning towards A tier. I have no clue. And hello, ReZero, get in there, my man. You're my favorite easy guy of all time. You, you are our favorite anime of all time, almost. I think. I think I'll have to look that up later for the video, but yo, ReZero is fucking amazing. If you haven't seen it, then go watch it. You're doing yourself a disservice. It's one of the best isekai anime out there, all right? Like, you're gonna wanna watch it. <laughs> you're gonna wanna watch it. It's so good. Subaru's suffering, you know, like, he likes, to, he suffers so much. You like to see Subaru get a good ending and seeing how the plot evolves with each character. There's so many twists. There's this, it's so good. It's so, so suspenseful. And in this one, the main character is not overpowered or well, he's overpowered in a certain way. He can't really die. But in terms of combat power, he's not 
packing much heat. That's all I'm gonna say. So, yeah, I, I fucking love this anime. At first, I didn't like it, but ReZero is fucking amazing. So go go give it a watch. I, I love this anime. I even <laughs> it's kind of weird to think that I forgot about it a while back. I didn't even know about it for a while. But now that I know about it, and now that I fucking love this show, <laughs> I'm gonna keep praising it like the wind because it's so good. But anyways, next is ga No Game No Life. And this one is a solid B tier. Even though I bought the box set, for the Blu-ray box set, and a mouse pad of this show, I just like the art style. It's a very mid... Oh man, I, I feel like this is a this is a this is a bad take, but this is a very mid show. I like it, but it's not the best in the world, you know. Sora and Shido are great. I like their teamwork and how they cheat their way to victory, and how they're fucking really smart. I like how the world is in in this world, everything is solved by games. But you know, <laughs> I don't know. I like the more traditional route of Isekai. I don't know what to say about it, but I like- I still love Video Game No Life. I watched it like three, four times, so I, I like Video Game No Life. That's why it's in B tier. But I can't put it in A tier, and it's kind of where the vill Villainess is above Video Game No Life, but it is. I don't know, I, I feel like I enjoyed Villainess more than No Game No Life. Yeah, it's kind of weird to say that now. <laughs> but next we have, uh... Knights and Magic? Magic and Knights? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue. But I think it's Knights and Magic. And this is... <laughs> oh, oh, man. Um, it's in D tier solely the for solely the fact that I didn't finish it. <laughs> um, Honestly, you know, I, I liked the first couple episodes, but... I don't know. It just it dropped off for me. Maybe because it involves Mecha. And I don't like Mecha that much. So... That's probably why that's there. <laughs> that's why. That's probably why I dropped it. So Mecca, you know, you know, you know. If it involves Mecca, there's probably a chance I'm not gonna finish it. And that's the case with Knights of Magic. It was a fun show uh, with a Mecca otaku, and he fucking gets so much another world and fucking gets be so OP with magic and robots and shit. So I don't know. I I just don't know. It's D tier. Because I didn't finish it and I don't like Mecha that much. Next we have is Another World My Smartphone, baby! Let's go! This smartphone isekai. I like this more than I care to admit. <laughs> Get all this tier list stuff is for, is for my uh, opinion. So, I may call it the ultimate tier list, but it's my opinion. It's a very much opinion based. <laughs> if, I, if I were to put it with me, like, if for like, overall, it wouldn't be a, be a tier. But for me, I really like this anime. I watched it, like, twice. It was a very fun watch. I don't know. I like the fact that he just has a smartphone. But he doesn't even use a smartphone all that often. But it's still funny. <laughs> it's like, it's such a weird concept. It's like, yeah, you know, I'll, you can bring anything to the, to the next world. What are you going to choose? I choose my smartphone. <laughs> I'm going to bring my smartphone with me to the other world. Yeah, sure, man. But, you know, it, it was a fun story. You know, I liked it a lot. With a to Toma? Toma? I don't, I, don't know, I don't know his name. But it's been a long time. I th it's Toe with something, I think. But anyways, next we have is... Oh, okay, this one's straight up. You know what? You know what? It, no, it doesn't... D tier is the... I can't put Knights and Magic with the Ragnarok. This is Ragnarok, right? This looks like the one with the sisters in it. I'm pretty sure that's Ragnarok and he fucking makes girls his sisters kind of thing, I think. I didn't watch much of it. I, I dropped it after episode one. <laughs> it was just bad. I don't like this show. So get it out of my face. It's not good. If you're gonna watch Isekai, do not watch the Ragnarok one. If the pretty sure that's what that's called. Oh my god, I'm, I'm hoping I'm right. I'm hoping I'm right, but if it's the one I'm talking about, then I don't like it. <laughs> now I guess I have Overlord, another S tier isekai. I fucking love Overlord. It's it's getting a season four and a movie, I think. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the. I'm, I'm I'm really liking that there's gonna be another season. The thing is with Overlord though, I didn't like it for a long time, but now that I once I restarted watching it. I fucking fell in love with this show. So, 
I want to see more. <laughs> Please, give me more of this show. Because it's it's so cool. Ainz, like, I had to get used to his non-human characteristics. But, or design, I guess. Um, but after that, it was just so... After I got used to Ainz being like a monster and, and the villain of the show, in a way, I had so much fun with it. So if you guys want to watch a cool isekai without the traditional route, where... The main character is kind of like the bad guy, quote unquote, who's really OP and has like equally OP servants. And it's, it's fucking, it makes some cool ass fight scenes, that's all I'm gonna say. And even the lizard arc isn't that bad. I first, at first, didn't like liz, the lizard arc in the show, but after, after I'm watching that arc and finishing it up, I like it a lot. It's not that bad. Next we have is How to Summon a Demon Lord. This anime, <laughs> this anime corrupts you. It gets a solid V tier. It corrupts you. And so my dog, by the way. But it, this anime corrupts you to no end. Like, at first, you're like, okay, this is cool. It's kind of cool. Like, how to summon a demon lord? He, he looks kind of like a demon lord, so let's check it out. Then you watch it, and then you just keep on watching, and, you, and you're just sucked in. Like, once you watch, like, two episodes, you're like, okay. I gotta see what happens now, because, you know, I'm, I'm invested. I'm sucked in. I, it, it fucking, it's like a leech. It grabs onto you and doesn't let go. And it, it, it's its good. I, I, I like it. <laughs> I, it's its a lot of fan service, etchy shit, and just regular isekai antics. And it's, it's, I love it. I love it, guys. It, I, it's, I'm all there for it. <laughs> the next tab is Moshoku Tensei, another, another S tier. Yeah, yeah, S tier. I'm gonna go and yeah, yeah, S tier. Yeah, I'm gonna put it Moshoku Tensei S tier. It's a really good show. I like the fact that the main character grows in it. I made a video on this a while back too. So if you want to see more of like a review on this show, then definitely go watch that video because I'll explain it more there. In this video, I'm just kind of summarizing, like, getting my overall ball thoughts on it very briefly. But you know, I like this show a lot. We did Isekai well. It was a tr traditional Isekai, and it did it the best way possible. The main character was just so... It, it was nice to see him grow. And I kind of liked how they really stood it out from, like, a baby and actually into, like, a child. They didn't rush things too much. Like, even in the anime right now, he's still a child. They're not, like, giving him, like, two, one episode as, 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 like, a child. The next is, like, a teenager, like, how he's supposed to be in most Isekai. They're actually taking it slow, and I like it. I like that fact. I like that they're taking it slow. Outbreak Company is solid B. It was a fun show about a main, the main character going to another world and teaching the, the, the residents uh, otaku culture. <laughs> it, was so, it was fun. I like the fact that he was teaching them otaku culture. It was such a fun ride. And I like seeing everyone get slowly get more into anime and and like it would talk to culture in another world. It was so funny to see them get corrupted. I like this. <laughs> and I don't like you. I'm sorry guys, this might get you mad, but I didn't like the fact that all the main like everyone was the main character. I read the manga for this, like the geniuses go to another world um series, and I didn't like that it was so spread out with main characters. So I just didn't bother with it. The manga wasn't that great for me. And so I never went back to it. I didn't really like it that much. I just didn't like how so th spread thin it was with the main cast. They should have focused on one character after that. that. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it, just me. It's just me. I, li I like the focus on one main character. I don't know. It's my thing. It's my tier list. <laughs> uh, next up, Sword Out Online. This one's a solid A tier. It would be B tier if, if Alicization didn't come in. Like, Alicization? really bumped up Sword Art Online for me in the Isekai category because it's just so good. Like, Alicization is fucking amazing. That's why I chose this picture because Alicization alone is definitely A tier in this list. And SAO in itself is really fun. The animation's great. I like this. The, the music is fucking god tier. Uh, I listen to the, the OST a lot, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I listen to the OST for SAO. It just, just sounds really good. And I like the alphabetization the most, probably. Like the, the administrator theme. A lot of the themes and the animation and, and, and Ujio and Alice. You know, just, it's just so cool. And the new power system in the game, it, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fun in alphabetization. Of course, season two kind of drags it down a bit. Uh, and season one 
first half was really good, and then, <laughs> okay, the first two seasons, don't do too much for it, but Alicization really kicks it up, and I think it deserves the A tier spot. Next, I have Edi Money Mash by Edema Kun. It's a B tier. I like it a lot. It's a very slow, <laughs> but there is a lot of really cool moments I like about this show. Like, again, it's more of like a school show than an isekai, but it's still technically an isekai. It gets taken from the human world and gets taken to the demon world to live in and go to school. So it's more of like a school sh show <laughs> slash the life school stuff. Yeah, but it's still an isekai and I had to put it on this list and I really enjoy it. I've, read, I've caught up to the manga <laughs> and it's just cool stuff. I like the plot later on. And Inuma is fun. I like when he gets to his wicked phase, when he gets like fucking Chad, like mega Chadness, when he gets his fucking, uh, when he gets into his wicked phase. It's so cool. I, I don't know. I like, I like Inuma, like seeing Inuma, the little pluff ball that he is, turn into a fucking badass is kind of fun to see. And he also cosplays as a girl for, for a bit. He cross dresses sometimes. Yeah. I just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> Ani Fureta, we'll go A tier. I like Ani Fureta. I like, I like the, the edge. The edge at Ani Fureta fills me, man. The edge. Oh my god, I feel it. I feel the edge. It burns. It, it hurts, but I like the edge and I'll take it all, all day, man. Ani Fureta, if you want some good edge, some good old hateful revenge story. And it's fucking great. Well, not really revenge, but like he, he's a hateful man now. You see a nice Iskara protagonist become a fucking hateful guy, a changed person, cold hearted. It's cool. Yeah, I like it. I like the edge. The edge fills me with joy. <laughs> yeah, next is Full Dive. Um, it's even shittier than this game in real life or something like that. I don't know the full title. I hate light novel titles, but this anime is a B tier. Uh, it was it's fun. I like how the main character is just down bad. <laughs> it's airing this season, by the way, so I haven't seen it at all. But I like how the main character is just down bad. Because, <laughs> like, dude, he kills his best friend in this game. And um, he has to go to jail. And then he pisses himself. And it's <laughs> He pisses himself, man. This main character is so down bad that it's 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 funny and cringy, and he's haunted by his best friend's ghost. He has to somehow make it through this world. He can't even reset his game because the game is so realistic that he can't reset. He had to buy a whole new console just to reset his game. <laughs> And it's just, he's so down bad. It's, it's just really funny. It's, like, he gets tortured and then he pisses himself because it's, it's he gets scared. And then, it, even in his backstory, he pisses himself. So, it, it, it's just, he, I don't know, man. He's a bed butter and it's funny. And uh, <laughs> he's so down. Okay, this is down bad, the isekai, right? If you want to give down bad, the isekai a try, then go give it a try because it's worth the shot. Next we have um, Standing a Million Lives. It's very fun. I like this show a lot. The main character's like personality is really cool. He's like, he's kind of edgy too, a loner, um, and he has to travel with these people who is selected by the the game master and do missions and do quests together and contemplate like whether the re the world they're going into is real with some other big plot behind it. I don't really know what's going on in this story to be honest. The first season left me with a lot of questions to be answered. But what the main character goes through later in the season is kind of cool. And they can die in a limited amount. They like, just respawn. So, yeah, they can just die as much as they want. Although, if they fail the mission, I think they die. That might be a thing. <laughs> Next is the ambition of Oda and Obuna. And I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't even know this was Isekai. I didn't even think about it being Isekai because it just didn't feel like one. Until I realized that the main character was put in to that world from his own world so it is, it is it is technically isekai and it was pretty good and i'm realizing i only have nine minutes left so i gotta hurry this shit up but yo uh this was a very fun show i like it a lot oh Omina. you know if you want to watch a good history show with with the, the biggest characters in history in japan kind of become 
beautiful anime girls, then, you know, give it a shot. Because it's, it's, I like the show. It's really cool. The music's all right. It's fun. Um, I think this is like, I'll even beat the Demon Lord for my daughter. I don't remember the that title, to be honest. But it's a very fun and very cute and heartwarming show. And I'll give it a beat to you. I got nothing more to say on it. <laughs> Next day, the mom is a guy. Dude. S tier. Yeah. It's an S tier. No, it's not. It's not an S tier. It's a C tier. It's a C tier, alright? <laughs> you thought I was gonna put it in S tier? No, fam. No, this is it's, it's a fun show. That's it's a fun show. You know? It's fun. Next one. <laughs> Next we have is the eighth son, and you know what? This was decent. Not A tier though. B tier definitely. It was a decent show. I liked it. And you know, it was very mid. It was an average isekai. This guy was the eighth son and he becomes so powerful. <laughs> That's it. And he gets a harem. Konosuba S tier again. This show is so funny. I like how Kazuma is also kind of down bad as well because Aqua is an idiot and Kazuma died from almost running over by a tractor and it's just, it's just Cosma is is a funny main character I like the comedy in the show it gets me laughing almost every episode explosion is great too Megamine with um even with uh, the blonde haired chick darkness is also a fun main or uh, fun main cast too who is like a is masochist the right word is that what that is I, I, I'm not sure but she, she likes to take damage, and she likes to be hit, and likes to test her limits. It's it's a fun show, and, you know, the seeing Cosmo live out his life in another world is is fun. It's fun. It's funny, <laughs> even. And I recommend it to everybody. It may, it may not be the, the most grandest adventure ever, but it's definitely really funny. So if you want a good laugh, then Konosuba, just give it a go, man. You, you won't regret it. Next is the, the, the grand... The old man's grandchild? Um, I think it's Kenja no Mago in Japanese. Don't I'm not don't quote me on that, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's Kenja no Mago. And this one is uh eh, mid C tier. You know, the the manga's better. The manga's better, I'll definitely say that. The anime just you know, kind of had a weird pacing about it. I made a video on this a while back too. I got a lot of comments and dislikes on that video, but I still stand by that opinion. The manga's better. Uh, the anime kind of did things weirdly. And I don't know. I just didn't like the anime. So it gets down here. But if you want to... It's still a decent show. It still tells the plot well. So if you want to watch Wise Man's Grandchild or Kenji no Mago, uh, it's definitely um, a good sh good show. It's definitely a good one. It's, it's an average isekai. Uh, it should be above these. And yeah, we're going to chill with that. And Isekai Team Edition, this one was boring. It was just boring. I, I couldn't finish it. Um, it was it was too generic, honestly. <laughs> it was just too generic, man. I don't know what to tell you. It, it just wasn't that great. It wasn't good. I don't know. I don't know. And honestly, Conception, it was just in the thing. I don't really remember much about this show. I watched like two episodes. I think they kind of have... They kind of have sex for like... To get new spirits born into the world or something, I, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but it was on the list in on the Crunchyroll Isekai list, and I, and I watched an episode of it, so I thought I put it on the on the on the list. But I have no clue what this is anymore. It's been a while since I've seen this show, so I have no clue. Familiar of Zero, this gets a solid A tier from me. It was very fun. But I have like a 500 page manga all the way. Back there, you guys can't see it, but I have the manga over there. And I I, I rewatched the anime. It's still a, it's a really really good show. If you like secondary love interests, then you're gonna like the show a lot. But if you don't, then she might get annoying real quick. <laughs> Luis is not the best. All right, the main character I don't remember his name to be honest. I don't why don't I remember any of the characters' names today? I don't know, but still, Familiar of Zero is definitely a really good show, and it's. Isekai. I, I, I thought it was just fantasy for a while back, but now I think about it, yeah, it's Isekai. And it's a very fun show with the main character having like the, like a really powerful mark. He's a familiar. 
uh, it's like Gandalf Mark or like Gandalf Mark or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's an OP man and he knows about the world. And it's kind of funny that some of the strongest weapons in the, mo in the magic world is actually from our world. Like a bazooka or like an airplane or just something like that. It's cool how they pull that in from into the story with the, the new technology and shit. I guess the old technology, because all that stuff came from the past. But it was still fun to watch the magical adventures and seeing Louise and the main character interact along with the rest of the girls. Because he does get a harem. So yeah, and even with the queen. I like those interactions as well. But anyways, let's go down to the last one on the list. And that is going to be Wimaru. It's a good show. I fucking love the slime anime. I, 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 it's really good, you know. It's really good. I, I, I dare say... I put it in top three. I, I, I put it in top three. I love slime anime so much. We move like becoming a demon lord is so cool. And in the manga, it gets way better. Uh, I'm looking forward to season three. Or is, 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 uh, isn't it like another core? Like, like a next, another core in the summer? I'm looking forward to that too. And it's gonna be good shit, boys. It's gonna be really good. If you wanna really, like, anything in S tier, I beyond recommend you. It's really good. But, and honestly, that's it for me today, guys. I like all of these shows. Again, some of these have their own videos. And even, I might make more videos on these series as proper reviews. So, again, this, this is like me saying it's really good when some things I like about it. But if you want a proper review, then just comment a series on me to review. Then I will do it. Probably. I'm not promising anything, but I might review it. We'll happen to see. <laughs> but with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like my tier list, and if you want to make your own tier list, I'll leave this link in the description below because I made this tier list myself. And you guys can do it yourself and, and you know, shut me out on Twitter. Like, I'll go give me, like, a go, like, a, at me on Twitter at your lists. And then I'll go look at them. And we can see what's up. But with that said, I'll see you guys all next time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and yeah, Johnny.